Hello everybody, let me introduce myself and my paper co-authoring with my colleague. My name is Valentin Isaev and I will work on the correctness of error approximation in calibration of instrument transformer. The energy sector of the economy is an important component of the life of a technically developed state. The huge number of substations and street gears in cities and villages concentrates hundreds and thousands of measuring instruments of alternating voltage and current, frequency and power consumption. The verified test equipment and working standards with small measurement uncertainty are used to verify and confirm the metrological characteristics of such devices. When calibrating current transformer, ratio error of the device under test will, will be equal to the relative difference of the amplitudes of the secondary current of the working standard and the secondary current of the device under test. It is denoted by a letter Epsilon. Phase displacement of the device under test will be equal to the phase difference of the set secondary currents. It is denoted as delta phi. When calibrating current transformer, two alternating secondary currents are compared, different in the initial phase in units or tens of angular minutes. The difference between the amplitude values of the compared currents is often thousands, hundreds and or tens of a percent for the calibrating current transformers used in power engineering. It is often convenient to represent alternating current as a father to solve electrical engineering tasks. In this representation, two fuzzers differing by several hundreds or tenths of a person are vir virtually superimposed, since uh, the phase shift between them is measured by minutes. In this case, a graphical representation is convenient, with the exclusion of a large portion of the length of the phasers as shown in figure 1. International standards for instrument transformers in interpreting definitions of ratio error and phase displacement allows simplification in vector analysis. Finding the limits of the correctness of applying approximations when estimating errors of instrument transformers is a task which has not been widely highlighted. The purpose of this work is to establish the limitations for the correctness of the application of the simplified analysis of the interrelation between the fuzzers of secondary currents of the device under test and working standard, which is based on the assumption of parallelism of these two phasors. International standard IEC 61869 Part 2 has the Annex A in which an explicative vector diagram is given to explain the determination of the ratio error. This annex illustrates uh, the error triangle, which distinguishes two components of composite error, namely the in-phase component and uh, the quadrature component of exciting current, which is composite error. In the work, ratio error values were calculated both for the case of known values of the amplitudes of both secondary currents, see figure 1, 
and for the approximation of this characteristic by the projection of the exciting current feather onto an axis drawn through the feather of the reduced primary current. The Microsoft Excel software was used to find the limitation of the application of the aforementioned assumption. A certain number of the phase displacement values with a small constant increment of this argument were set using computer simulation. The probability of the error ratio of current transform corresponding to the given extreme values is not high. However, to find the limitations of the correctness of the simplifications used in the determining current transformer errors, it is worth expanding the search range to unlikely error ratios. It should be noted that for a rated current of 1 ampere, that is 100% in the table, the value of the phase displacement should not exceed 30 minutes for class 0.5. However, for the rated current of 5 amperes, the ratios analyzed in the work and presented in the table correspond to 20% of the rated current. I remind you, the calculation was performed at a current of 1 ampere. Looking at table 201, it is seen that the allowable value of the phase displacement is 35 minutes. In figure 3, it can be seen that at a rated current of the current transformer with an accuracy class of 0.5 S, a threshold of 1% is reached at the phase displacement value of about 35 angular minutes. It is worth nothing and that for the current transformers that meet the requirements of the IEC standard for accuracy, the impact of the approximation can be considered to be negligible. That is confirmed by the simulation results. Returning to the table of set phase displacements, it should be noted that uh, with increasing ratio error, the effect of approximation is more noticeable. This is reflected by the phase displacement on a yellow background. At these values, the effect of approximation is already noticeable. In the context of the study, it is also appropriate to mention that current transformer errors are normalized in the range of the secondary winding load. The secondary load of current transformer may be in the range from one to several tenths of volt amperes and the power factor should be in the range from 0.8 to 1. In practice, the secondary winding load may be less than 1 volt ampere and slightly more than 0 volt amperes. The current transformers are designed in such a way that ratio error is negative at maximum load and it is positive at zero load. In such case, the phase displacement will most often have the same sign. The hypothetical example would be error relations in this slide. For metrology, the degree of equivalence of the results of measuring current transformer errors at these ratios is of interest. 
especially when the ratio error is equal to zero. This case was modeled and the change in nature of the relative difference in the ratio error measurement results for the above example was investigated. The simulation results are present graphically below. Figure 4 shows that with the simulated ratio error approaching zero, the difference in the results calculated in two ways increases significantly. In figure 4, two dashed lines show an increase in the percentage difference in the results to infinity and the perpendicular to the abscissa axis through the coordinate epsilon equal to zero is an asymptote. We find that difference in results is negligibly small and does not depend on the ratio between the phase displacement and ratio error. It should be noted that the relative difference in the results increases with the increase of the phase displacement, but does not reach up to 1% as well as does not reach half of the second significant digit, even at the phase displacement of 300 angular minutes. This drawing is an extract from the obtained results of the simulated phase displacement for the ratio error of about 0.5%. Moreover, the maximum value of the phase displacement has been chosen such that it is determined by the IEC standard for the corresponding accuracy class of the current transformer for the rated current. Thus, the approximation in the measurement of the phase displacement does not distort the results obtained for the current transformer with errors corresponding to the accuracy class of 0.5. In assessing the correctness of the application of the approximation in determining the errors of the current transformer, it has been fixed the absence of a noticeable influence of the assumption of the equality of both the true ratio error and the value of the projection of the exciting current phaser. This statement is correct provided that the errors of the transformer are found to satisfy the accuracy requirements of the international IEC standard. The absence of a noticeable influence of the assumption of the equality of both the true value of the phase displacement and the value of the projection of the phaser of exciting current on the axis perpendicular to the phaser of the primary current was noted as well. Thank you very much for your attention and goodbye.